The story of Samson is an epic tale of strength, love, and betrayal. Samson was a judge of Israel, chosen by God to deliver his people from the oppressive Philistines. From birth, Samson was blessed with superhuman strength, a gift from God that marked him for greatness. However, Samson's extraordinary gift came with a condition. He was forbidden to cut his hair, for it was the source of his remarkable power. As we delve into Samson's world, we encounter a man both blessed and burdened, triumphant and tragic, whose life offers profound lessons for us all. Samson's strength was legendary, a source of awe and terror. He battled lions with his bare hands, tore down city gates and slew thousands of Philistine soldiers. His feats of strength were more than just displays of power. They were acts of defiance against the Philistines, symbols of hope for the Israelites. One tale recounts Samson single-handedly fighting off a pride of lions, tearing them apart with his bare hands. Another speaks of Samson tearing down the massive gates of the Philistine city of Gaza, carrying them on his shoulders to the top of a distant hill. Unbeknownst to Samson, his greatest battle would not be fought on a battlefield, but within the labyrinth of his own heart. Enter Delilah, a woman of captivating beauty from the Philistine Valley of Sorek. Samson, captivated by her charms, fell deeply in love. Their relationship was a tangled web of desire and manipulation, a dangerous liaison that would seal Samson's fate. The Philistines, desperate to break the back of Samson's resistance, approached Delilah with an offer she couldn't refuse, revealed the secret of Samson's strength, and a fortune would be hers. Little did Samson know that his love for Delilah would become his Achilles' heel, the chink in his armor that would lead to his downfall. Section 4. A Bargain with the Enemy Delilah, tempted by the Philistines' offer, began to pry into the secret of Samson's phenomenal strength. She used all her feminine wiles, showering Samson with affection while subtly extracting information about the source of his power. Time and again, Delilah would press Samson about his strength, feigning concern for his safety and claiming she needed to know his weakness to protect him. Samson, blinded by his infatuation, initially resisted her inquiries. However, Delilah persisted, her persistence fueled by the promise of wealth and the cunning manipulation of the Philistine lords. Worn down by her constant badgering and blinded by his desire to please her, Samson eventually succumbed to Delilah's manipulative tactics. Section 5. The Price of Betrayal with the secret revealed, Delilah betrayed Samson's trust. She summoned the Philistine lords who wasted no time in exploiting Samson's vulnerability. As Samson slept, his head cradled in Delilah's lap, his long locks were shorn. Samson, shorn of his strength, was a shadow of his former self. The Philistines, finally able to overpower him, seized their advantage. Samson, once a symbol of hope and resistance for the Israelites, was now a prisoner of war, a trophy of the Philistines' cunning and a testament to the devastating consequences of betrayal. Section 6, Redemption and Sacrifice. Blinded and imprisoned, Samson endured humiliation and suffering at the hands of his captors. Yet even in his darkest hour, a flicker of his former strength remained. His hair began to grow back, a physical manifestation of his repentance and a sign that God had not completely abandoned him. One day, the Philistines gathered in the temple of their god, Dagon, to celebrate their victory over Samson. They brought Samson out of prison to make a spectacle of him, to revel in his downfall. As Samson stood before the jeering crowd, he prayed to God for strength, for one last chance to strike a blow against his enemies. With a surge of divine power, Samson pushed against the pillars of the temple, collapsing the structure upon himself and the Philistines gathered within. In his final act of defiance, Samson destroyed the Philistine temple, killing their leaders and a multitude of their people. Samson's story is a tragedy, a cautionary tale about the dangers of pride, lust and misplaced trust, but also one of redemption and the power of repentance.